hope you're having a great day. It's always a pleasure to share a new episode with you. Today, we're taking in a hockey game at Vernon's Civic Arena around 1961. Work on the Civic Arena began in 1937 in the midst of the Great Depression and employed relief workers for construction. When it opened, the Civic was billed as the only structure of its kind between Vancouver and Akutens that is equipped with artificial ice. The original building had a facade on the front and back that gave the structure a larger look. By the 50s, the facade was removed and the building had more of a traditional arena shape for the remainder of its days. Over its 80-year history, the arena played host to countless hockey games, figure skating competitions, and community skates. But it also acted as a community center where banquets, concerts, dances, and exhibitions were held under its wooden roof. On VE Day in May 1945, nearly the entire community congregated at the arena to celebrate the end of the war in Europe. A new arena, Cal Tire Place, was built in 2001. By the mid 2000s, the Civic Arena, showing its age, was deemed too expensive to repair and maintain. In October 2018, the old arena was demolished. This hockey game, sometime in 1961, features the Vernon Junior Canadians or the Canadians. I'm certain there's a few hockey fans here that will quickly identify the teams and perhaps even a few players. This game appears to have ended in a 5-4 loss to the visitors. Just like today, colorful advertisements were mounted all along the walls, encouraging fans to purchase their wares. Hockey arenas need to pay the bills. In the days before television and online game analysis, after the final whistle, the fans might have headed over to the Kalamalka Hotel to have a beer and argue over the finer points of the game. If you have additional information or corrections to the footage, share your solutions and details in the YouTube comments section so others can respond and collaborate. Subscribe and you'll be notified as to new releases every week. If you enjoy these episodes, please consider becoming a member to help support our channel. As a member, you automatically receive previews of weekly episodes and the satisfaction of knowing you're helping preserve these vintage reels for future audiences to enjoy. If you would like to share your old 16 or 8mm film reels of BC or elsewhere, please contact me. Have a great day, be kind, and we'll see you next time on Real Life.